The idea of time travel has always captivated humanity, inspiring creative depictions in literature and movies. As technology advances, the potential for time travel may necessitate the creation of the Time Police, a specialist law enforcement agency. This organization would be responsible for monitoring and regulating time travel operations to safeguard the timeline's integrity. The Time Police, made up of specialists in history, physics, and law enforcement, would have a precise mission to keep the chronological sequence of events intact. These comprehend the complexities of temporal physics, the butterfly effect, and the possible repercussions of changing historical events. These agents would go through extensive training. Their goal would be to prevent unapproved interventions from changing history. To manage time travel efficiently, we would need to implement a thorough system of laws and regulations. These regulations can forbid changing important historical occurrences, meddling in one's own timeline, or bringing futuristic technology back to the past. Authorized time travel would probably be subject to stringent laws requiring permission and thorough records of the goal and length of each temporal excursion. Laws would also be required to deal with the ethical ramifications of time travel, including how to deal with paradoxes caused by temporal interference or alternate timelines. Perhaps one of the most important pieces of legislation is the Temporal Non-Interference Act which forbids doing anything that could change the course of history or modify historical events. Time travel licensing would make it necessary for people or groups to apply for a license before engaging in any time travel activity, provided they have a legitimate cause and are aware of the possible repercussions. The Historical Preservation Directive would mandate the protection of significant historical occurrences and individuals from intervention. In order to prevent illegal access, the Temporal Technology Control Act would also govern the advancement and dissemination of time travel technology. To find and capture time travel violators, the Time Police would combine cutting-edge technology, historical research, and intelligence-gathering techniques. Systems for monitoring time, such as chronoscanners, would keep an eye out for illegal time travel signs and monitor temporal irregularities. Through the examination of variations in the space-time continuum, they were able to detect anomalies suggestive of illicit actions. When strategically positioned inside significant historical eras, quantum beacons would notify the Time Police of any illicit temporal entry or departure. The Time Police would also closely consult historical documents and eyewitness reports from several eras. They would keep an extensive database of recorded anomalies, unexplained occurrences, and biographies of people who didn't seem to belong in their era. They were able to detect possible infractions and follow the whereabouts of unauthorized time travelers by comparing these reports with known time travel operations. In order to find inconsistencies or changes, historical consistency analysis would entail routine audits of historical documents. In order to identify discrepancies, sophisticated AI systems could compare historical data from the present to baseline records. Experts in historical forensics would look into any observed irregularities, utilizing forensic methods to track changes back to their origin and identify the individuals in charge. Monitoring the media is another crucial strategy. The Time Police might search social media, historical documents, and news articles for evidence of time manipulation using advanced algorithms. Any abrupt alterations to well-known historical events or unexpected phenomena may be signs of unapproved time travel. By serving as an early warning system, this media monitoring would enable the Time Police to swiftly look into possible breaches. Undercover activities and intelligence would also be essential. Time informants may be able to provide information about possible criminal activity in temporal societies. These agents would receive training on how to spot indications of unapproved time travel. We could employ temporal sting operations to apprehend those who attempt to manipulate important events. They would also establish a network of informants from other ages who could report any indications of time travel or attempts to change the course of history. Combining these techniques would produce a complete system capable of preserving temporal order. Investigating with time police would require a lot of forensic time analysis. Experts in this field would study tangible evidence that time travelers have left behind, including futuristic materials or technology discovered in historical settings. In addition, they would examine the psychological effects of time travel on people, searching for indications of multiple timeliness or temporal displacement syndrome. Checkpoints would probably be set up by the time police at significant historical turning points, times that are more susceptible to manipulation or are regularly the focus of time criminal activity. These checkpoints would serve as a warning and a means of catching anyone trying to change important things. Temporal locks, for example, 
are technological defenses that could protect important historical events from illegal access and notify authorities of any tampering attempts. Time travel disruptors would neutralize unauthorized time travel apparatus, rendering it inoperable and facilitating the capture of offenders. Furthermore, the time police would keep an eye out for indications of unapproved time travel aid among lottery winners and successful gamblers. Odd trends of recurring success or unlikely winning streaks may prompt investigations. By examining betting trends and financial transactions, the time police could identify potential instances of temporal information exploitation for financial gain. This examination would promote equity and stop the commercial use of time travel technology. The time police had a rigorous routine they would adhere to when dealing with violators. Offenders may face serious legal repercussions such as fines, incarceration, or even temporal exile, which is a temporary banishment with no means of return. Rehabilitation programs could also educate offenders on the importance of maintaining temporal integrity and the potential consequences of their actions. Collaboration between time police organizations from other times would be necessary. The seamless sharing of data across time periods made possible by a single temporal law enforcement network will provide a more thorough method of identifying and stopping unlawful time travel. The establishment of the time police would be crucial in a future where time travel becomes possible. By strictly policing the chronology and using cutting-edge detection techniques, they would ensure that history remains unchanged. The turmoil and unpredictability that could result from unapproved temporal interventions.